evening, you guys. It is Saturday night. We are on our way home from the lake. We have some amazing friends that live on a lake nearby that let us come out and play and have fun and do all the things. I got severely <laughs> burnt at Dawson's baseball games today. My legs, my face, my arms are <laughs> so hot right now. <laughs> But we had so much fun. We've had a great day. It's just me and Dawson. Tonight, Quinn is with her grandma and um, Britt and Gavin are on a trip. So I'm excited to have just a mommy and Dawson evening. He has another game tomorrow. And then I think we might go back to the lake um, and just kind of hang out on the beach and have a have a fun little day so yeah we have amazing friends i am so happy that i found the people that i have in my life i, I am being very honest and very sincere when i say that because i love love my friends and i've i've never in my life had a friend group that are as supportive and understanding and helpful and honest as the friend group that I have now and I I very much appreciate and love them so yeah we had a great day the water was perfect it was just cold enough to feel refreshing it was clear the skies were clear it was just a beautiful lake day so Dawson and I are getting ready to stop at um, the store, this little store here, and we're gonna get some snacks for the evening. We're gonna go home, maybe shower, cuddle, and watch a movie and just relax because we're both really worn out. The Gavin or Dawson played two baseball games today. He swam. That's a lot for a little fella. So that's what we're gonna do. Good afternoon, you guys. It is Sunday afternoon, and it is a scorcher today. It is in the 90s. Dawson had a game this morning at 11:30. It did not. Go, it did not go well. Um, we didn't even play the whole game. It was. It was pretty bad. But that's okay. He learned a lot this season. The season is over. Um, this weekend was the state championship so we are done with baseball on to football football starts monday yes my children are at least my boys are very very much into sports they are great athletes and that is their passion and that's what we spend a lot of our time doing our daughter quinn is four she has not started any activities yet thank goodness because i don't know how I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't know how we're gonna be able to manage three different schedules for our children and our own schedules. I'm I'm a little bit nervous about that, <laughs> to be honest. So, we are off to start the second half of our day. It's almost one o'clock. We are gonna go um, to my in-laws house and we're gonna go swimming and I'm bringing lunch. I'm gonna fix lunch for them. We're gonna have pork chops, baked beans, corn on the cob and um, macaroni so I'm excited I just want to have a chill day I just want to you know Dawson has um, some chiggers going on he has a skin infection going on so he's gonna get in the pool that's really gonna help the chlorine chemicals are gonna help that so I'm excited to get him fixed up I'm excited to have some fun um, Quinn is going to meet us there. She stayed the night with Grandma last night, and we're just going to have a fun time with family. And I'm and I'm super thankful that um, my husband's family takes me in as their own, and they, you know, involve me and, and let me let me have fun days with them like this. Good afternoon, you guys. It's Monday still. I just got home from picking up a grocery order. And I thought I would show you guys very quickly what I got. Um, just because I have it all laid out already. And um, 
I think I'm dehydrated. I'm gonna do this very quickly because we have to run. We gotta go to football practice. First one of the year. Okay, here we go. All right. So this is a staple of ours. My oldest son, Gavin, and I love these um, little tuna packets. Here's the um, deli style. We got sweet and spicy. We got lemon pepper, which is my personal favorite. We got some whipped cream cheese. We got some strawberries, two pounds. This is the only creamer I use nowadays. It is the oat milk, extra creamy by Chobani. We got some mayo. We got bagels, which is what the cream cheese is for. We got some frosted flakes. We got some cherubs. Are they called? No, these are called glories. They're just little grape tomatoes. We got some ground sirloin. I got a little grinder of Himalayan pink salt. I got some Italian seasoning, which I put this in everything. Let's be honest. Some mountain trail mix, pepperoni. We got some bacon because we're out of our um, fresh bacon from our pigs. We got some honey ham oven roasted turkey breast, lots of cheese. We got these sharp cheddar uh, cheese cubes, which my daughter loves to eat. We got some mozzarella, sharp cheddar shredded. We got some mini subs. I like to take these for lunch. We got these little personal pizza crusts, which is what the mozzarella cheese is for. We got some sliced Swiss, which is what I like on my sandwiches. We got some chicken nuggets, Nilla wafers. Avocados, I don't know if I showed those or not. So that's most of it, but I have some over here too. I got some tilapia that I'm gonna fry up later this week. I got some ham steaks, which I like to um, just throw in the uh, cast iron skillet for breakfast. I got some milk. I got some um, in-wash scent booster. I'm still trying to find my favorite, so I've been using different kinds all the time. Just trying to find the one because I don't feel like my laundry is clean unless it smells clean. I got some laundry detergent. I usually only buy what's on sale. It doesn't really matter to me what kind as long as it works. Got some Uncle Ben's ready rice. I like to take those tuna packets and put them um, in with this ready rice for lunch and it's very good so i got garden vegetable roasted chicken i got some mushrooms for my pizza i got some avocado or not avocados i got cucumbers for a little recipe that i'm going to make hopefully that's the last time i have to buy cucumbers for a while if my cucumber plant outside produces a lot and i got some um romaine lettuce I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the stuff away, at least the cold stuff, because we've got to get on the road and get Mr. Dawson to football. <laughs> been a day. It's Tuesday. It's been, it was rough from the start. <laughs> so my husband's out of town with my oldest wrestling and he's do, he did great by the way. I think he's finished wrestling maybe. I'm not really sure. He took third in Greco-Roman and freestyle out of the whole country. So I think that that's a really that's a really amazing achievement. However, 
feel like a single parent and I don't know how in I don't know how single parents do it I don't do you see my hair do you see my face I woke up past the time that I should have left the house this morning hold on I gotta pick up my prescription hold on sometimes when you don't have a basket your shirt works just as well so I'm down here in the barn because my husband and oldest are gone. I'm responsible for barn chores. Would you like to meet my cows? That is Elsa. That's red tag. That's blue tag. And this one is beef steak. Or beef cake. I can't remember what he was named. But they're eating. I got the trough filling up. There's some chickens. <laughs> El Diablo is the rooster's name. My neighbor's mowing over there. Look how, look how smoky it is outside from the Canadian fires. Elsa. Okay, let's go to get this water shut off. Okay. Chicken water, cows watered, cows fed, chickens fed. <sighs> let's go to the house, I'm tired. It's been a crazy day. Still got my eggs. So when we came up to the house, we had a special package on the front porch. All the doggies got new toys. And Polly got new toys. Mama. And Dolly got new toys. <laughs> Sorry sis, are you okay? Everybody's in good spirits now. And one, one of the dogs Dolly. Oh! <laughs> no, no, not up here. No, go get your toy. Ooh, everybody's hyper. And so, guys, this one. Oh, there goes Frank. So, Copper's a big fan of the balls. He likes balls. And so, guys. Dolly really. Why do you keep saying so, guys? <laughs> You're so funny. And Dolly likes the ropes. Copper likes the balls. And Frankie likes the. Um, he likes the ropes and he likes the um, rubber squeaky toys. And so, guys. And so, guys. <laughs> and they were trying Copper. They got all of the toys. They got the zoomies. You got the zoom face and and Dolly Wally. Be careful. Hey. No. Be easy. Be easy to freak and Dolly. Copper's loving it. Oh, Let's see if you can get it. Oh, he got it. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. I was just getting ready to start my breakfast, but I remembered I wanted to show you guys that my new little um, gadget here, it's a honey dispenser. Isn't it cute? It dispenses from the bottom. So you just push this little lever and it releases the honey. 
I love it so much. I um, got it th from actually a thrift store, brought it home yesterday, got it all washed up and it works beautifully. I have honey on my toast here. Better go let my doggies in. Come on doggies. Hi dolly. Copper, where's Frankie? Frank? He's at the front door. Come on. Gotta watch your step in this place. She'll step on her dog. <laughs> there he is. So we have a lot of dogs and a lot of people in a very small house right now. <laughs> so we just have to learn to get used to it. We um we won't be in this house forever. We actually have plans of building a new house, so we won't all be cramped forever. <laughs> No fighting. While I'm sitting at this stop sign here, I wanted to show you guys what Indiana is dealing with as far as the smoke from Canada. This is crazy, you guys. This is the worst that it's been. And we, it's been hazy here for about two to three weeks, but this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Um, for a few reasons. One, I'm afraid that the soybean and cornfields aren't getting enough sun because the sun is literally being blocked out by all of this smoke. <clears throat> now my daughter has been sick for about three days with some kind of um, congestion and I think it's being caused by all this smoke. Businesses up north are being closed because people cannot make it to work for all the haze. They can't, they can't see on their way to work. I'm just blown away by this. I, I came outside yesterday morning to go to work and I thought that there was a house on fire. I can't, some people say that they can smell the smoke. I cannot smell it at all. But I, I heard on the radio this morning, I don't know, I don't know what kind of, like, I don't know what kind of scale they use to test air quality, but I, I did hear on the radio that between zero and 50 is good air good healthy air right now Indiana is in the mid 200s that puts it into perspective that's really bad um, my my daughter's daycare they couldn't go outside and play recess today my son was supposed to go to the water park today with his grandma and they couldn't do that isn't that crazy I heard that Michigan and Minnesota, there's some places that have um, uh, shelter in place protocols because of the air quality. Oh wow, it's even worse over here. I, ca I can't even see the sky. I, can I cannot tell you if it's a cloudy day or a sunny day. I'm scared. This is scary. It's been this this morning, for instance. I had to turn the heat on in my van on the way to drop the kids off. It was cold this morning. And now it's 86. And it was cold because the sun's being blocked out. I really hope they can get these under control, you guys. I really... I just pray that it rains on these fires. And I know Canada has been getting a lot of rain, just from what I've heard from my Canadian friends here on YouTube. But it, it just must not be raining in the right places because this is, this is crazy.
Good afternoon, you guys. It is Friday. I just got home from work a little while ago. I'm getting ready to clean this house. I'm gonna spend like two hours doing nothing but cleaning the house. But first, Gavin and I are gonna do, go do something really fun and I want you guys to see. So I went dumpster diving again at the same place and they had thrown out so much produce and it looked fine. So I got a trash bag and I filled it up with stuff for my animals, but some of it is big and it needs to be busted up before we hand it to the animals. So I went dumpster diving at Sam's Club and I got some produce and I'm a, and you have to bust the melons so we can give them to the animals. It's gonna be so fun. I'll, I'll pitch the melon to you and you hit it and let's see what happens. Okay. Let's do it. I, we gotta record it, so I gotta find a way. staying with us for a few days. She's 13. Yes, there's a 20, 20 year difference between us. <laughs> so her and my oldest son are basically the same age. Now, I wanted to take them to the lake, but I, I had to ask permission first, so I'm waiting to hear back on that. They decided to go on a bike ride, so that's what they're doing right now. My two littles are with their grandpa until later. We're gonna to go to a little 4th of July party this evening. So until I wait to hear back from the lake people, I'm just gonna go home and I'm gonna work on some laundry, some stuff that I just wanna get done so I don't have to do it tomorrow because I have the day off. It's the 4th of July, Independence Day. I burnt my mouth on that sandwich though, it was hot. And the closer I get to home, the more it looks like it might storm. So we might have to wait that out. I've been vlogging on this video for a while. Um, so I want to insert a clip here of the other night when um, we were sitting on the back porch and the people around us started setting off their fireworks. Our neighbors must have spent thousands of dollars on their firework display. It was amazing. They did such a good job. And they were very hurried because we had a we had a severe thunderstorm roll through about dark time Saturday night. So they were setting off fireworks like crazy and it was the most beautiful thing. 
ever. I, I made sure to take you guys a little clip so that you could see just what I'm talking about. It's, it's amazing. And just remember, like, we're out in the country in the middle of nowhere, and we got to see one of the best firework displays in the county that night, and I was very thankful for that. It was very unexpected, very beautiful. So I'll insert that here, and then I'm going to end this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Please, please, please leave a comment. I love receiving comments. And subscribe if you want to stick around. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. One, two, three, four. If you wanna go Got to find a way If you want to go There ain't nobody gonna do it for you Got to find a own Got to hit your heart If you want to love Gonna do it for you Got to find your own